Uh, welcome once again uh, to Learners Coach. Now, there are quite a number of uh, students or those who want to join universities who scored a mean grade of B- in their KCSE. And most of the questions that I've been getting is uh, that I scored a B- minus a grade. So which kind of marketable courses can I pursue uh, here in Kenya? So that is one of the main things that has uh, really motivated me uh, into sharing with you um, my article that I wrote from our website, <coughs> as you can see, right? So I want to share with you the highly marketable courses that you can pursue uh, if you have a B- minus grade, right? So I'll just go straight to the first course, that is um, a dental surgery. Uh, these are most sought out and marketable uh, and it's highly marketable B- course, right? So it takes around five years to complete it, as you can see, <coughs> right? And uh, from, and after you have uh, actually uh, graduated, uh, of course you can become, you can work with private or public hospital or you can start your own consultation dent uh, dentistry. Uh, practice right requirements which is very keen is that you must have attained a B plus apart from just B minus in your overall case yes you need to have a B plus in biology you need to have a B plus in either Kiswahili or English right the totals to 40 weighted cluster points good uh, the other marketable course that you can pursue with a B minus is nursing right so if you are interested uh, to maybe uh, offer nursing to various people, you can actually work with private hospitals. Uh, you can also work uh, in clinics, <coughs> right? Actually, nurses play a very crucial role, yeah, even more than doctors. Uh, nursing is a very important occupation uh, that requires uh, you to have a uh, B minus. So other qualifications that you need to have a C plus in either English or Kiswahili. Uh, you also need to have a C plus in either physics or maths or any biological sciences uh, plus chemistry that requires a C plus, right? <coughs> you also have aerospace uh, science. Now this is another, I uh, can talk about lucrative course right so it if you have passion in maths <coughs> for those of us who like uh who are playing with the fig uh, figures right uh, you can always enroll for this course right so uh you can always uh, pursue it if you have a minimum of b minus in physics or maths and of course a c plus in either english <coughs> or geography right uh, we also have physical therapy right now it is referred to as non-clinical because it covers uh, the kinds of drug treatments and physical activities that are necessary while providing care for sick uh, people right so we have a lot of hospitals that requires this particular expertise right you become a physical therapist so you are required to have a c plus uh, but preferably b minus of course c plus in biology <coughs> uh, mathematics uh, physics english or uh, kiswahili then we have <coughs> animal science actually uh, this one also is a very marketable course as you can see, most people are now going back to farming and people are rearing or breeding uh, animals. So you can offer <coughs> your services. Yeah. So a student can major in zoology or I can become a veterinary officer. So you require four years of study. B minus is the required aggregate score. And of course, you need to have a uh, C plus in either maths, biology, or agriculture. 
Computer science is another course that you can pursue with your B minus. So if you are wondering if you could do computer science, yes, it's possible with a B uh, minus. So if you are a problem solver, you have an analytical skills, you can you actually pursue this particular uh, subject or other course. So if you have B plus uh, in either maths or physics, uh, you should also have a minimum C plus in physical or biological sciences. And of course, you need to have a C plus uh, in English or uh, Kiswahili, right? Real estate <coughs> management. With the B minus, you can pursue this particular uh, course. So you can have a chance to work as a real estate finance and strategic manager, right? And you can see, uh, you can also uh, have your own business. I normally see people starting their own business of real estate, right? Now, you need to have aggregate uh, grade of B minus and of course a C plus in maths or physics. Construction management. <clears throat> At this time in our country, actually construction is very, very marketable. Because uh, the current government is has a policy of building a lot of houses, and actually it requires you to have this kind of expertise or course. So if you are starting now, because the government is still here for the next ten years, you can always pursue it. <coughs> Requirements: you need to have a B minus aggregate, C plus in maths or physics. Right, as you can see, you also have to pass, pass in biology. So, construction management is one of the marketable courses that you can do with your B minus. Uh, uh, number nine, we have industrial mathematics. Now, when you talk about maths, that means you can become an uh, actuary, accountant can become a lecturer, right? So this degree is marketable and you need to have a minimum aggregate of a C plus. So uh, last in our list of those courses that you can pursue with a B minus is environment, environmental science, right? Uh, sorry, environmental health. So the course objective is to prevent illness or injury to individuals by identifying and assessing potentially harmful environment chemicals. So we have a National Environmental Management Authority, NEMA, which actually is the best organization uh, to work for. So the minimum requirement is that you need to have a B minus aggregate, B minus in biology, right? And B minus in either maths or physics, right? Uh, so these particular courses are always offered by COPS, so you can always enroll and check the COPS portal if you have the required max or grade, right? So should you find this information useful, uh, like the video and always subscribe to our uh, channel. All right, thanks.